Hi, this is Nikki from Zulu Waterways, and today I'm going to be explaining how you can use your Navionics login credentials to download charts on the Zulu Offshore app. The button in the top left of the screen allows you to change base maps. You'll see that one of these options is Navionics. Once you've switched to the Navionics base map, you want to click the menu button in the top right of the screen. Provided that you are on the Navionics base map, there'll be an option here that says Navionics login and you want to click this. This will redirect you to a Navionics login where you want to use your email and password which is linked to your Navionics subscription. Please note for Android users that at this stage, the first time you're logging in, it will come up with a message that says there is no valid subscription link to this account. Provided that you have input the details correctly, just click Done, which will take you back to the map page and you will be able to download charts. Now that you're logged into Navionics, you can pan around the map and find an area where you want to download charts for offline use. There are two ways to do this. One is actually just to focus the screen on the same area for 10 to 20 seconds, which will automatically download the area. Alternatively, you can long press by holding your finger on the screen for two seconds, selecting Download Maps, and select Navionics. This will open up a selection tool which is the same as on the Navionics mobile apps. Once you can see the chart imagery on your app, that means it's downloaded and will be usable offline. Using the button in the top left of the screen, you'll see that we have the option to toggle between Navionics Charts and Navionics Sonar, both of which are included when you download a region. And of course, while on the Navionics Charts, you can still view the Zulu information, add comments and add new markers in exactly the same way you do on satellite and street view. Now the arrow button in the bottom left of the screen when tapped once will take you to your current location. Tapping it a second and a third time will toggle through the different options that Navionics has for showing your course. Now when trying to navigate using the Zulu Offshore app and the Navionics charts, please make sure that you're outside and you're giving your device clear access to the sky. Navionics does not use the same internal GPS as your phone. It has its own system for finding satellites, putting your position on the chart. There are more ways for changing the way the Navionics charts look and function, which can be found in the main menu, settings and preferences. Okay, that's all for now. I think that should be more than enough to get everybody set up using their Navionics charts on the Zulu Offshore app. Everything you saw there is completely free with any valid Navionics subscription. You can download as many charts and store as many charts as you want in the region that the subscription is valid for. Alright, all the best until next time.